man, this thing is so quiet. Oh my god. Take it out to Henderson. Yeah, I mean, it's just like a dream. Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Ebit, and well, today's another exciting Amsoil engine flush. And today you're going to be learning a lot about the Amsoil products, the flush. And well, we're back with Katie in her 2017 Jeep Hi, Renegade. Yep, that's Katie. She's been a part of the channel over years. And today's going to be different because we're doing a one-taker, non-stop, start to finish. It's going to be a long video, but we're showing everything from start to finish. Katie, you're on the camera. Here you go. All righty. You Ethan. got it. All right, let's do it. So here we go. We're putting in our AMS oil engine flush. Katie had some oil burning problems over the years. And uh, we're going to go ahead and talk to our lid, pop her off. And here we go. We just pour in the engine flush. Very thin detergent. This uh, cleans oil coking around the rings, oil cooler ports, and around the timing chain. Very, very important to get that out of there. That way all that buildup doesn't go into the new oil filter, which we're gonna be putting in our new oil filter. Filters at 99% efficiency at 20 microns. And uh, this right here holds about four times more contaminants than the cellulose paper filter. It's good for 15,000 miles. And now that we got the flush in, all we're gonna do is go ahead and throw in on our cap. We're gonna go ahead and motor up, and we're gonna let this little angel idle for 15 minutes. Here we go. We're gonna start her up. We're go ahead and put on our brake. Got our on. So that way she doesn't move on us. Now we're gonna let her idle. And for 10 minutes, we're going to talk about leaf and the 99 different ways you can smoke it. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to smoke anything, but we're going to talk about life. But we're going to come around here and we're going to put in some other fuel additives, which is the PI Performance Improver Gasoline Additive. This cleans the valves, injectors, all the carbon deposits inside the combustion chamber. And you, this treats 30 gallons of gasoline. You put it in every 4,000 miles. So we're gonna taco the lid, just come like that, whoop, just like that, and like that. We got our While gasless. it's running even? Yep, we got our gasless gas cap compatible tip. So not only can you whoop, stick it in, you can also go ahead and yank it out later. But you wanna make sure you jab it all the way in, and that's gonna do a double penetration. There's two flaps on here. You wanna make sure you get through both flaps or else it won't go in. It'll actually back up and actually go on the floor. So you don't want it on the floor. You want it inside that motor cleaning the injectors. And speaking of a cross-eyed devil, I'm gonna go right on ahead and show you um, over here, just watch your step, there's some stuff. We're gonna show you what atomization looks like and how that works. So when you got your fuel additives, you got atomization. Come over here and take a look. This is misting. And this is the fuel that mists in the combustion chamber and the air between the molecules allows it to burn. But if you have a dirty injector, it shoots straight like this. And what's happening is it's going by the flame. So when this fuel goes by the flame and it doesn't get burned, basically you're just wasting tons of fuel, you're wasting gas, you're losing power performance. And with the PI cleaner, this actually can improve your power by up to 14 percent in just one bottle and you can actually see that if you're on a laptop desktop click show more the reverse down arrow you'll actually see um, that General Motors uh, performance test on that so while this little booger idles we're going to go ahead and get her all jacked up so I'm going to throw on my rubbers we're going to start sizing and prospecting exactly what bolt this little booger takes we closed up our uh, thing and now we're going to start jacking Usually we don't show this on the channel, jacking a lot. You don't want to show that, but today we're just going to show it. So here we go. So we're coming down, and we're going to go ahead and find our jack point, which is right there. I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to come down and start jacking her up, and we're going to tighten up. we got a good low-profile jack, and we're going to go right there on the frame. And you always jack a car up on the frame. Because on a unibody car, it can actually collapse the floorboards. So you want to be conscious of that. And we 
we always take our time nice and slow and we're going to let her idle for 15 minutes we're not going to do the full 15 or we'll do uh, 10 minutes so we just keep going until she's at a good safe height there we go all right And that's nice and spacious. Now we're going to put our safety jack on. And throw this here. And there we are. And now I'm going to get Katie the light so that way she can light the subject. When we go underneath, we're going to use our tools. This is my old Craftsman toolkit. I've had this Craftsman toolkit for. Uh, about 16 years and uh, I never lost any parts and don't get me wrong it's a cheap 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 toolkit compared to snap-on but it still gets the job done and I'm not gonna buy any other tools until I need them and I just don't need them and I don't work every day as a mechanic so I don't need snap-on tools but if you can get some snap-on tools, they're way better. So we're gonna pull out our light. This is our Loom Cube light. This is what I use, the Loom Cube Pro. Really has a lot of great punching power. Gives a nice, rich uh, thing. So we're gonna do about 15% power. And we're gonna go to 3600 Kelvin. So it's a nice, warm light. And uh, it just adds a good, warmness to the photos and pictures and now this just velcros to my phone i use a samsung s10 phone and that's all you need so a lot of people think you need high-end gear and you just don't need it so we're going to go ahead and velcro this little booger on here so here we go we'll take this and we just go ahead and velcro her on and she boo boo we should be on so katie's got the whole rig just watch it hey, and if you're new to the channel definitely subscribe all right, we're back. She bumped the, uh, the little thing. So that's just a couple seconds off. We're going to start spot checking. All we do is check our bolt sizes. So what I do is I come here with a breaker bar for extra uh, torque so I don't have to hurt myself. And I use this. And then I grab all the, the ones it could be. So it could be a 16, could be a 17, could be a 15 or 14. Or a 13, I don't remember all the cars, so I just take them all. We're gonna go down, I'll just double check what we got here. And you can take a look right here. This is our drain bolt right here. That's it, and it looks like it's a 14. And I think this is a 14. Nope, it's a 13. Wow. Just a little teeny weeny 13. Look at that. Look at how cute. So it is a, it's a 13 millimeter. Aww. So now we're gonna put this on our breaker bar and we're gonna be getting ready to drop the nuts in a second. And this is our oil filter. I'll show you right here. This is the oil filter right there. And we're gonna be uh, taking the oil filter off in a second. And uh, so Katie had the signature series in the car, but it, um, basically ran out of uh, she had to do a test at the dealer so now that we got this ready we're gonna grab our drain pan which I'll grab over here I'll show you what a drain pan looks like a little teeny plastic thing and then we got a bunch of other dirty rags that we can use right here and we got this at Wama and um, I think this is like I think it's six inches high I think it's about 20, 22 inches long. And this sucker holds like, I think like 20 quarts. So it handles well, it's not too heavy, it's clear, it's nice. You can see what you're working with. We're gonna go ahead and throw that under, we're good on that. We're gonna come over here in my other toolbox. We're gonna go ahead and grab, we're gonna go ahead and grab our oil filter wrench, just right here. This is a really nice adjustable oil filter wrench. So we're good on that. We got this. 
And now what we'll do is we'll go inside the car and sit and talk for a couple minutes and we'll talk about life. So we can come over here and Katie will go in the car and we'll ask Katie a million questions about life. So Katie, why did you get this car? Because I always wanted a Jeep and I love Jeeps. Huh. That's a good reason. I like it. And why did you move to Las Vegas? For a lot of different reasons, but I used to live in Phoenix and I wanted to come out west and it was the cheapest place at the time, five and a half years ago. And so I made the move. That's a good thing. I like it. And what makes you get up in the morning? Why do you get up? Even that's a good question. Lots of reasons. <laughs> um, <laughs> a very involved. Question. That's a good one. And uh, how much longer you think you're gonna have this car? Um, I don't know. I really love my Jeep Renegade, but I really, I don't want her to know of my lady here. But I really want to someday get a maybe a. Wrangler. Ah, Jeep Wrangler. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Yep. But All I would right. have to get used to driving it because this, so before I had this car, I had a smart car. And some of you may have seen those videos. Uh huh. And um, I loved that car, but it was so tiny driving in Las Vegas. It was so tiny and it's very windy here most of the time. Um, especially in the spring and, and the fall and so it's very windy and it was really scary because it's like an egg shape huh. car. Yeah. And so when I'm driving on the 215 it would blow me around and it was just like, it was scary. And so, you have these huge cars, you know, not patient, driving past you, you know. And uh -huh. so that's kind of why I decided to get the Jeep also. I like it. So why did you get this, uh, why did you get the smart car? Well, when I first moved here, I had a Toyota Scion. And I had apparently burned all of the oil in the engine driving from Des Moines, Iowa to Las Vegas. It was just like we took the, like, cause it was during the winter. So we went, we didn't want to drive through the Rockies. So we took the long way, you know, like, down through Arizona, like mm, everything. And apparently, I don't know, I think the oil, I burned all the oil. I don't really know what happened exactly. I never really knew, but I was driving on the 215 one night and the engine like exploded. Okay. Huh. I knew like one other person in town at this point because I had just moved here. Didn't have a job yet. But my friend from Des Moines who had sold me the Scion used to work for Mercedes-Benz of Des Moines and he couldn't do anything for me because my warranty had run out and so he got me the smart car. He shipped it here and I loved it. Wow. But alas, it was too small. That's a good friend. Yeah. Well, he kind of manipulated it where I could get that car. So for a while I had two cars and then I gave No, him. just no. If Katie didn't get that little manipulation to get that car, you know where she could have ended up? On the bus. Huh. Oh, as we say no, in, even. No. As we say on the channel, you know why some people come to get this oil right here? Some people come for Amsoil Signature Series. Hold this, Katie. You know why some people come for that? Because some people are willing to fly over mountains. Scuba dive under seas and some even drool on buses just to get a quart of the AMS oil signature series 100 percent synthetic good for well over 25,000 miles now i know a lot of you are thinking that's got to be a hocket well it's not we actually have proof of this we did it on the uh honda on my honda uber lift car we have a field test check that out we got a bunch of diesel vehicles. We also have, oh my God, all kinds of 18 wheeler oil analysis videos. So if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe, tap that notification bell, 
and check them out up here in the corner. You'll see a bunch of those oil analysis tests. So enough squawking. Um, I think it's time to motor down. You know what to do, Katie. Go ahead and motor done. Okay. Go ahead, just turn her off. Oh. You know how to turn off this car, don't you? I sure do, but it's, you move the pedals. So. Whatever you do, they say, don't stick your you know what in the fan blades to turn it off. That's what you could do on the Cadillac because uh, the fan blades, it has fan blades. This is just an electric fan, but <laughs> that's the scary part of the old cars. But um, you don't want to lean over an old classic car with an old metal fan blade. Don't don't lean over that, that motor with long hair. It's not a good idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, don't do it. Now grab this lube. And now we're coming on over. And we're getting ready to drain it on. So go ahead, Katie, and you know what to do. We're going deep sea diving. And uh, we'll get you some um, stuff to kneel on so you don't mess up your knees. You can kneel right there. And, Am I doing it? Yeah, well, I'm doing it, but you're just oh. going to video. Oh, got yep. it. Yep, so you can hold. Okay. And I got that. And we are going deep sea diving. We got our nice thick rubbers. And what that's going to do, it's going to allow the ability not to burn your hands. Now, when this oil gets done idling for 10 to 15 minutes, it is hot. Hot to trot. And uh, that's really a good thing when it comes to draining your oil is it allows more of the uh, oil to come out. So we got lucky, she came off like butter. And now, we're gonna pop that off. We're gonna grab our wrench, and we are gonna be draining her down here in a count of three. Sometimes it's a long count of three, <laughs> but it'll be a count of three. And you can see she's already starting to leak a little bit, and that flush really thins out the oil. Wow, is that tight? Jeez. I hope they didn't I strip. I felt like the, it was. I hope they didn't strip the pan. Jeez, this is weird. Really? It's really, really that tight. Mean? I don't know. It's tight. But she took it to the dealer because they were doing a test on it to see how much oil it was burning. So it doesn't have AMS oil in it, but we did put AMS oil in it a while ago. On the count of three, a one, two, and three. And there she blows. So that's what we call the liquid charcoal on the channel. It's real dark and black. We're gonna come over here and grab a paper towel. We're gonna wipe this off so we don't get oil all over. We're gonna stay as clean as we can since I'm not on the camera. We got a special videographer, Katie. We're lucky. We're very lucky. And now we're gonna tag team this sucker from both angles at the same time. Say, what does that look like even? <clears throat> Watch, here we go. We're going to drag this pan back a little bit and we're going to go right on ahead and start draining the filter right here. Now, Katie, if you come over here to the side, you'll be able to get the filter up here. You come lower, the filter's up here. See it? Mm -hmm. Right here. You see the filter? Yeah. All right, so we're going to grab her with our pliers. And we're going to wrench her. Ah, we got her. She's a stickler, but we got her. Ah. There she is. Uh, uh, uh. She whiz even. Oh yeah. She's a stickler. And now she's going to drain a little bit. So here we go. Let that liquid, liquid Chaco come down. And now we're going to go right on ahead and let her drain for about 20 seconds. And then we're going to go right on ahead and drop that filter. So we're coming up on 15. And there's 20, so here we go. The filter's coming off. And she blows. There she blows. Just give her a little shake -a -roo. We got our dirty rags. We're going to drop our filter. That's our Mopar filter. And um, these are a very, very inexpensive quality filter. And we're going to show you how they're different and why they're so inexpensive. So we're gonna prep our fresh filter with fresh virgin oil. And what we call this on the channel, we call this AMS oil the 100% synthetic liquid gold. This is the very stuff that um, will get your car to 
to run longer and stay stronger on the channel. That's what it's going to do. So we're going to take off our rubbers. We're going to go right on ahead and prep our filter and show you how these are different. So this is a one piece metal filter. It also has an upgraded anti drain back valve compared to the Mopar filter. This two piece filter isn't as strong. Also, this has an anti slip coating, so it's much better to get a grip on it. It's also good for 15,000 miles and it filters at 20 microns at 99% efficiency. Now, some of these doggy scraps filters actually only filter at 60, 70% efficiency. So all that carbon is floating in your motor, wearing out the pistons, the cams, and all these other components. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna crack open a nice virgin bottle of the 100% synthetic liquid gold. And this is good for up to 25,000 miles. That's right, it's 100% synthetic. So they can actually call a full synthetic, full synthetic, when it's only 25% synthetic or more. So basically, if you think of these doggy scraps, juicies, like uh, high C, it's basically sugar water. Well, that's what comes in your car. Well, this right here would be like 100% fresh squeezed orange juice. That would be the difference. So when you get this full synthetic, you're not getting what you think you're getting. So now we're going to come on in and go ahead and just go ahead and prime her up until she boobles over the top. Booble, booble, booble. Booble, booble, booble. And we always say in the channel, don't ever be afraid to get a little messy and don't ever be afraid to get it wet. Because if you get it wet, it's always a sure bet. And I always say, if it ain't messy, it ain't fun. If it ain't fun, it ain't messy. That's why the wetter, the better. So we're going to come with two finger. Go ahead and get her all nice and wet. We're going to hit our rubbers. And that way it threads on really easy. So I'm pretty much happy with her draining. Um, we have her drained out about 98%. Get a lot of people on the channel, they get gun shy and they say, even what happens if I leave a half a quart of old oil in my car? Well, it's not gonna hurt nothing because you gotta think about the bottle of flush we put in was 16 ounces. If you left one tenth of that in, you would be leaving 1.6 ounces of flush in a whole other six quarts of oil. So that's not gonna hurt nothing. And uh, it's just a thin detergent, so nothing to worry about. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come here, we're gonna take the M's oil filter and just thread her on. Just a piece of cake. So we can come here, absolutely nothing to clean. And we're gonna come right here and thread her up. And uh, can you see it, Katie, or not? Not mm -hmm. really? All right? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and thread her on. And it's a little messy and a little wet. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to use a little simple green and get the oil off my hand. That's all I use. Pet friendly, eco friendly. And um, simple green is biodegradable and it doesn't hurt animals. So that's what I use on my skin. So I just go like that. And Shibubu, that whole film, is now off my hand. So now what I'm going to do, take my paper towels, go ahead and wipe her up. We're going to throw on our rubbers and we're going to firm up that filter hand tight. We don't go that tight um, because you can actually crack the O-ring and stuff. You don't need to go really, really tight on her. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and throw on our bolt and thread her on. So we got our wrench, we got our bolt, and we're going to tighten up our oil filter a little more. So I'm going to take some paper towels and we're going to go ahead and just tighten her up hand tight, just a little tighter. And I'm happy with that. We're gonna wipe her, we're gonna wipe her, we're gonna wipe her. We're gonna go here, we're gonna throw our bolt in. And, wow, is that tight? Yeah, that shouldn't be that tight, that's weird. Something happened to the pan, I hope it's not stripped. She took it to the dealer, it is what it is, so. What does just, that mean? Uh, they might have put the bolt in cockeyed. When you put the bolt in crooked or cockeyed, you can strip the bolt and strip the pan, and then you got to take the pan off and all that. But it, I think it's fine. So we're just going to tighten her up. Get her all nice and tight. We tighten her down to about 
15 pounds of torque because this is a soft gasket o-ring so you don't have to go that tight it's not a crush washer so these you just barely tighten them so here we go that's it done it's tight this comes out and we drag her out It'll come out like this We've got our old oil it burned about a quart of oil which isn't very good this motor's still burning oil it's got a recall issue and now we're going to go ahead and put our tools back over here we're going to get this out over here we're going to go ahead and drop her level we're going to yank out our safety jack just like that we always double check make sure she's level we're going to take some simple green spray the gloves just like this help here let's take the towels wipe off the rubbers as i, as I always say in the channel absolutely nothing wrong with using reusing your rubbers you just want to keep them clean so now we're going to drop her down level so come on over here we're going to go nice and slow we're going to pull out and slowly drop her down and the great thing is about this jack is it really modulates nice and slow it has a nice delicate touch and She is level. Watch out, Katie. We're going to put the jack right there. Just stand over there. You good? We got her back. And now it's that time to go ahead and feel her up. We're going to be putting in our 100% synthetic liquid gold. And this is the M Soil Signature Series, the very best of the best. And uh, I'll never forget the time when I first tried it on my C5 Corvette. I just couldn't believe how much better my car ran with less vibration. I was at SEMA, Specialty Market Association, um, here in Las Vegas, and I found out about Amsoil, and I just couldn't believe why I never heard of Amsoil. So I did some research, and um, I started using it, and I just couldn't believe why everybody said it was bad. Everyone said it was garbage, it's going to wreck your motor. It's going to make your motor blow up. I was just like, what the hell are these people talking about? So I did some more research and um, I ended up finding out basically all it is is a bunch of people and mechanics that don't want you to know about it because your car will last forever basically. It'll last roughly two to five times longer, two to four times longer pretty much. So if you had a car you had two, three hundred thousand, you could have had it 600 to a million miles. So it's just really weird. So I started trying it on my Corvette. I did the transmission fluid, the motor oil, the coolant, and I got 0.9 average miles a gallon better. Now here in Vegas, one average miles a gallon better on a Corvette in traffic, that's really high. Got about 2.8 highway miles a gallon better. So a huge bump in fuel mileage. <clears throat> and now we're gonna go ahead and move her up. So we've got our funnel. And we're going to be putting in the liquid gold. Beautiful. So clean, so beautiful. It's almost untouchable. And I always, when I get gabbing sometimes, I talk so much, <laughs> i got to check myself before I start putting more oil in. We're going to look underneath to make sure I put everything back. because. How do you one, know when on you're... On the one video, there's no oil running out anywhere. But um, on How the do one... you know when, when you're full? That's an excellent question, Katie. You always want to check your dipstick. So we're gonna take a nice fresh thing. We're gonna wipe off our dipstick, make sure she's nice and clean. And we're gonna put in what calls for, I think 5.9 quarts. So we're gonna start out with five and a half. So we got number two coming right now of the liquid gold going in. The beautiful liquid gold, so pure. And we actually just got done nailing the liquid cherry on this little angel. And uh, she was actually super clean and um, the cherry was cherry. We're super happy with it. And it's, uh, it's a car that needs a little bit of extra help, but we're lucky we got the extra help. So this is gonna be our number three. This time, what the heck, we'll go lefty. We'll get out of our comfort zone. We can only get so high, but there we go. So we'll switch it up. 
And if you didn't know, if you like entertainment, I also have another YouTube channel. It's called Las Vegas Magic Friends, and we do magic, juggling, comedy, all different types of entertainment here in Las Vegas. So if you like that stuff, you like entertainment, you like Vegas, check it out. It's up here in the corner right here. It's called Las Vegas Magic Friends. And uh, we love giving back. We do a giveaway on that channel. We do a giveaway on this channel. This channel we give Snap-on Tools away. <clears throat> Sometimes five, six, seven hundred dollars Snap-on Tools. This summer we might be doing thousand dollar tools. It's possible. What kind of tools? Torque wrenches, impact guns. We got breaker bars. We got uh, ratchets. We got vice grips. We got pliers. It's all wow. come, 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 coming up next. And we're not giving up on giving back. And uh, as I always say in the channel, <clears throat> loving and giving makes life worth living. And the more you give, the better you live. So if you can do something for someone, not only will it make you happy, it will make them happy. And I say happy, a little bit hippie, a little bit happy. If you can be both a little bit hippie happy, you'll always be happy. So we got <clears throat> four, five. I can still count <clears throat> even after talking nonstop. And now I'm going to wet my weasel with some spring water. I'd like to make a little cheers for a little peace and quiet. If she gives me a little peace, I'll be quiet. And I'd like to make a little cheers for all the virgins out there. Thanks for nothing. And uh, so these are a couple of stupid cheers jokes, but... That's funny, Eben. Mm. Really funny. I tell people I wink at it. <clears throat> I wink at it. And here's number six, I think. So we're going to put a half of this in. Whoop! And we're going to go ahead and uh, check her out. <clears throat> we'll see where she's at in the deep stick. And then once you turn it on, it goes down about a quarter inch on the dipstick. So we're right there at the top. It's going to go down a quarter inch to the top of the checkers. So we're bulletproof. Sweet. So now, nothing but time but the motor up. So Katie, you feel like going ahead and starting her up? Absolutely, Eben. Awesome. We're going to make sure we got our O-ring wet. So you say, how do you get it wet? You take this. You come here and just dribble, 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 dribble. Speaking of dribbling, when I was younger, my parents, they actually thought I was going to become a professional basketball player. You want to know why? Because I kept dribbling on my bib. Ah. I actually thought I was going to maybe become a pro, but it never happened. And I never quite got tall enough. So it was a shortcomings in height. Shortcomings in height. So Katie, <clears throat> rubbers are off. So you're ready to go ahead and start her up. Let's Absolutely. do it. Wow. Now that is quiet. I think it's time to go drive, isn't it? Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Go right on ahead and tap the subscribe button right here. And then you're gonna see this little bell. That's the notification bell. And what that does is it allows this to give you a little ring on your phone when I publish a new video. So when you do that, that will actually give you a notification. That way you can leave a comment on any of my videos within the first three hours. And I randomly select people for the end of month giveaway. We give $100 gift cards away, all kinds of stuff. So we'll see you at the last Saturday of the month at the giveaway. All right, so we're getting some driving impressions. Wow, Even, I can't believe how smooth and quiet. Wow. So you want some... me to turn here and turn her up? Yeah pretty low mileage only 54,000 but still it's all city driving yep which is pretty tough stop on it go, stop and go stop yep. and go all day long so we're coming and stopping beautiful clouds today so much depth so much color today just beautiful out and uh, we're so lucky to have Katie to be able to come over after work and get her car all dialed in and 
you know, it just really scared me. I got butterflies. I usually don't get scared much, but I tell you what, this car completely knocked the wind out of me. There were moments where I thought this car could have went ablaze, where she could have had to literally jump headfirst out of this car just so she didn't get caught on fire. And uh, just with the oil burning, this fell in on her. The plastic piece where the park reverse drive on the thing and just little knickknack stuff. And but still it runs, you know? Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah, look at those clouds. There's the stratosphere, this big old tower here. So like I mentioned, if you want to see more about Vegas and the beautiful surrounding area, go ahead and uh, check out the video up here in the corner. That's on Las Vegas Magic Friends. That's my other YouTube channel where I do entertainment, juggling, comedy, all kinds of stuff. And uh, this car is so quiet. So quiet. Of course, of course. Yeah. So any type of closing notes you want to give them? I am such a big advocate of Ann's oil because it both not only helped this car so much, but also my smart car before, I really think it's worth the money and you should invest. All right. But buy it from Eben because he's the best. He knows what he's talking about. All right, so there you go. There's some closing notes and if you want to try the lube, all you do is click the little teeny weeny reverse down arrow if you're on a smartphone. Um, if you're on a laptop desktop, click show more. That's down there. And you'll see all my links when you use my link. I would be your Amsoil dealer, so I can always answer all your questions and the products in the future. And um, I'd be overjoyed to talk with you and uh, help you because that's all I do about 60, 70 hours a week here on YouTube. Is I do the videos, I help my customers all over US and Canada. I have about, you keep going straight, we'll go way down. And uh, I have thousands of accounts I help from commercial accounts to regular individuals like Katie with her car. And uh, I help everyone. So I always make sure everyone's happy. And to me, I'm not satisfied until I'm getting that good results, getting the good reviews, making people happy and sharing with other people. So that's all I do. And uh, anything else we should give them, Katie? I think that Alright, check out this playlist here. This one is on everything we did to Katie's car from start to finish. Check out this video at the bottom, why mechanics won't recommend Amsoil. You're going to want to see why they won't. They just don't like it. And we will see you back next time, right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Bye, Cheers to protection, protection, protection.